In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, the gifts of the Holy Spirit be with you. Let us prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries and ask forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart, which we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, sin must not reign over your mortal bodies so that you obey their desires. And do not present the parts of your bodies to sin as weapons for wickedness, but present yourselves to God as raised from the dead to life and the parts of your bodies to God as weapons for righteousness. For sin is not to have any power over you, since you are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? Of course not. Do you not know that if you present yourselves to someone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one you obey? either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness. But thanks be to God that although you were once slaves of sin, you have become obedient from the heart to the pattern of teaching to which you were entrusted. Freed from sin, you have become slaves of righteousness. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Had not the Lord been with us, let Israel say, had not the Lord been with us, when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us. The torrent would have swept over us. Over us then would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who did not leave us a prey to their teeth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. We were rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your 
a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not left his house be broken into. You also must be prepared for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? The Lord replied, Who then is the faithful and prudent servant? whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time. Blessed is that servant whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself, my master is delayed in coming and begins to meet, beat the men servants and the maid servants to eat and drink and get drunk, then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish the servant severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. That servant who knew his master's will but did not make preparations nor act in accord with his will shall be beaten severely. And the servant who was ignorant of his master's will, but acted in a way deserving of a severe beating, shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. <coughs> to different authors in today's readings, St. Paul to the Romans and the writings of St. Luke, and yet they have very similar themes, and that is we have a choice. We can be a slave to the flesh and sin in the world, which leads to death, permanent death, or we can be a slave to Jesus Christ, to the Spirit, to our baptism, to the will of God, which leads to eternal joy. And as we hear today's parable, the master who leaves and leaves his servant in charge, that is you and I. And a great question for us to ask ourselves, if the Lord would come today, would we be given more? Would we be pleasing to the Lord? Or would be like the servant that is beaten? once severely, or the other servant who lives in ignorance, lightly. When we look at all of the gospel, it's basically God desiring us to desire what he desires. And what is it that God desires but that we be faithful to God as we journey on these short days on earth, that we may be in the glory of God forever and ever. As we drove to church today, we see the leaves falling, the end of a beautiful spring and summer, much like we know our lives on earth will end. And yet we know that in a few months, all those leaves will return, the flowers will be beautiful, a reminder of the glory of God that will last forever in the kingdom of heaven. As St. Paul said, let us pray for that wisdom and as we proclaimed in the responsorial psalm, our help is in the name of the Lord. We pray for that wisdom that we may always be about desiring to do the will of God today, tomorrow, and in eternity.
So in confidence we rise and we pray. For the church, may the Holy Spirit increase her in faithfulness and holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For public officials, may God direct those entrusted with authority to lead with integrity and righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are overwhelmed by suffering, May the Lord pour his grace upon them and bring them relief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's people gathered here, may Jesus empower us to joyfully live our calling as daughters and sons, sons of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, as they served him in this life, May our Heavenly Father grant them abundant happiness in the next. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the deceased Mary Gagas, for whom this mass is offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for Resolution of conflict and especially peace in the Middle East, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you sent your son Jesus as the Prince of Peace. May we be grow in wisdom to follow him ever more faithfully. We ask this in all our prayers through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours will be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name. <coughs> Grant us, O Lord, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Jesus Christ. Through Jesus, the host of heavenly angel, 
adore your majesty and rejoice in your presence. May our voices join with theirs in one exultant praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together at Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints and martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus always be with you. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. Mountains of gold, you're the seasons untold, Jesus, the source of life. We're drawn to this. 
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal, which we ask through Christ our Lord. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our Lady of the Immaculate Heart, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Go in God's peace. O Sacrament Most Holy, O sacrament divine.